Hey guys, this is Maple Nuts, and I am about to make a video where I'm talking. So I did open this channel a couple of days ago, and I decided to just post videos about my maples. Nothing to be said because a video talks for itself, but some of you guys said that I needed to say something. So I am saying something, and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you a kind of like a full tour of all my maples, okay? So let's just go ahead and start with this Golden Falls. Look at this beautiful tree right here. I got this not so long ago from uh, Mr. Maple Open House. It's a pretty nice little specimen right here. It weeps down, it starts to weep down right here. Boom, looking pretty nice. And I can tell that it's not liking the sun too much. So I may consider moving this tree somewhere else in the property. I don't have a space for it yet, but I probably need to move it. This is my very disc right here. I got this from Lowe's. Guess for how much? 38 bucks. $38 I bought this tree as a, what was it, a five, seven gallon, something like that. It was November. November. People usually stop buying plants during those times and usually you can get bargains at Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff like that. This is a Mikawa Yotsubusa that I bought as a one gallon in October and this one I got from uh, essence of the tree or essence of a tree in California right here I got that one and I also got another one right there and I'm about to uh, I'm about to show you this is my blood good I have a uh, air layer on it and as of now i don't see any roots outside and i did this on february 24th so if i don't see any roots outside it this is probably a fail and i'm gonna lose this branch but it's okay it's all good i'm just experiment experimenting and this is my first air layer attempt this is my kurenaishi red lion right here so i got this tree in an open house with the Golden Falls right here. I got this Murisaki Kiyohime, which took some major damage during, you see, I'm still pulling branches during transportation. And that is because I, I cramped up six 10 gallon trees on my SUV. And that is the result. This one took major damage right there. And to tell you the truth guys, I'm considering cutting all the bottom part and just making like a little mushroom head here because the reality is that it is going to take so long to recover. I may even consider doing a bonsai out of that. I don't know yet, but we'll see. This is one of my Michael Jackals. I got three Michael Jackals. I bought this from JR's Maples. Josue Rodriguez uh, sold me this Michael Jacku or Acontifolium. There's another one right there. And there's another one right there, right there. We'll go see it. I'm also nuts about palm trees. I have so many of them, it's ridiculous. I got one right here. I got four right there. I got another one there. And then I got one at the in front of my property there. Which they're really nice. This uh, Morisaki Yatsubusa also take, took some major hits during transportation. And you can see it right here. Boom. There's not much to say about this tree right now. Uh, I bought it, I was curious about it. And I found it interesting and it looked really nice when I grabbed it. However, when I came here, it had so many branches that were broken dead look at that right there right there right there right there 
this is everywhere like it broke everywhere so it took some major damage so now i just gotta have to prune it and see if it grows get another shape from it i'm also nuts about conifers i got a few conifers right here and by the way guys i have none of my trees are large like large large trees i don't have any like trees like that all right so i barely started with japanese maples so bear with me here i don't have any big conifers as well but i do have some decent ones so this one right here is donna's rainbow and all this bright or light blue that you see right here is all this spring's new growth this matte gold everything that you see bright yellow is new growth so they're growing they're happy this is a Seca Yatsubusa that I got from Mr. Maple right here and yes it is windy guys this Mikawa Yatsubusa I grab I grabbed from a seller I forgot his name I am so sorry but I bought it from the Facebook market, believe it or not. I wanted a 10 gallon Mikawa Jetsubusa, I couldn't find it, but I found a five gallon Mikawa Jetsubusa and I am enjoying it. I have the blues guys, so pretty much same thing. Everything that is bright blue on all, all this is brand new growth from this spring only. This tree is actually growing a little fast, believe it or not. This Corbett, this Corbett, same thing. You can see all the new growth on it. It's growing. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I got this two fat Alberts, all right? And I got them from Conifer Kingdom. Yes, from Conifer Kingdom. So, yeah those two one is a little bit more blue than the other one i don't know why but this is more into the greenish gray side of the spectrum of the color spectrum but this one is like blue blue and i'm really digging this one look at this guys it's amazing look at this brand new growth all this from here to here is literally this year's growth and it is guys april 17. i got two slenderinas right here and sorry guys i want to apologize I apologize i got a little stuffy nose i'm not very good with pollen all right so bear with me here these are some slenderinas okay these are basically kind of like the blues but is it i don't know uh they weep down all right boom that's how they end up looking okay if they're fast growing or slow slow growing i don't know so far for me this tree have been very fast all this from here to here is brand new i mean this right here has maybe a month from here to here so from here to here from here to here it's all within this month actually yeah within i want to say march april all that new growth same with this one everything from here all the way right here this is all just spring right here like the beginning of spring and i'm already getting massive growth this branch right here is probably gonna end up dying i can tell what else guys i have another mikawa yasebusa this is the other mikawa yasebusa i was saying that i grabbed from essence of a tree it is really nice really beefy looking Mikawa Yatsubusa. Right here, I'm gonna go through these and I'm just not going to name each tree individually or talk about them individually because if not, this video is going to end up being hours long, all right? So I'm just gonna go through some of these. I got some dye back on this branch. Look at that already giving me diebacks i got a tree that failed which is this uh 
Red Sentinel. I'm really sad about it and I'm getting a new one. What else? I got a Jack of Spotis. I made a video about this one. What else? I made a video about Angel the Prince. What else did I make a video for? Kurohime. I got a made a video of Kurohime. Look at this. Skyland right here. It just exploded in growth. And I don't know if these are supposed to like weep down like that, but check that out, guys. That is so freaking cool. To tell you the truth, I don't really know if they're supposed to weep down like that. This is this is the, like, the first year that I own this. I bought this tree maybe two months ago or so. And I grabbed it from, it wasn't called, uh, Kind of for Kingdom is the other kind of big website, which I forgot the name. I'll probably remember before the video ends. Look at more conifers run right here. I have this tree right here, super cool right here, Plastigata. Look at how thick those leaves are. That is like so weird, right? It almost has the thickness of a, what do you call that? Those plants that uh, go in indoors. Oh, I forgot the name. Screw it. Anyways, I have one. I got about four of these. These are Christmas trees, believe it or not. Noble fir. This is another fastigata. Look at that. Boom. I have this Korean fir. Koreana. Look at this. It's getting ready to blow up. This is a uh, this is a gold drift right here. Boom. Check out the colors on that. I have some Colorado blue spruce. I remember succulents. So the the texture of the leaf is more like succulents. Believe it or not. And I'm digging it. Anyways, Colorado Bruce Bruce. I'm getting some dye back here. And this is usually with conifers when you start seeing brown at the tip from the eye outside, it starts turning brown from the outside inwards and from top down. That means there's a lack of water right here or maybe too much sun. So it is pretty humid inside. Uh, I think I'm gonna end up moving them. This uh, bush lace was looking really bad when I got it and look, it just blew up in growth. I have a Gaudi that I got from JR Maples. This, that Skyland I got from him, that Glauca I got from him, that Gold Drift I got from him. Uh, and then these I got from Mr. Maple. What else? I have more Mikawa Jetsubusas. The rest of my Mikawa Jetsubusas I got from Mr. Maple. I have a really kind of like a big one right there. I'm about to show you guys real soon. These are two tattoos. And I am about to get a third one in, believe it or not, 10 gallon. Yes, that is right. It is, it is a 10 gallon tattoo that I'm picking up tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to make a video on it. These are my Japanese princess, guys. I got four of them right here. Check that out. Boom. I got four Maydays. Boom. Mystic Mikawa. I got three. I got three Bazinga. Even though I call that red koala, but it's a Bazinga. I got four. Mikawa Yesibusa ceilings right here. I got this Seum Kaku. And let's go here. This is a Inaba Shidari. Uh, Chishigashira. I got two small ones there. One, two. 
three Tamuki Yamas. This is my other, my Kujaku. This is my Catalina Yatsubusa. This is a free tree I got for buying the other ones. I don't even know what it is. I got four Crimson Queens right here. I have, I said I have that my Kujaku, two roses. Another Fastigata, another Fastigata. This is the Mikawa Yasebusa that I got grabbing extra large from Mr. Maple. Check that out, boom. This right here is my Aurora Cypress. Check the patterns, how it grows. I like it, I'm digging this. My other Michael Jacko right here. You know, it's looking, you know, <laughs> some of the leaves are not doing well, but overall the tree is doing very good considering that I thought this tree was dead throughout winter. This is my first flame guys. This tree was awesome when it started leafing out and now it's turning green. I thought it was not, but it, it is. It's definitely turning green. It got a little bit of good color to it. It was about that color, believe it or not. So yeah, I guess it's now about to turn boring on me, but it was, it had at one point it was my favorite trees of all of the trees that I had, this tree was my favorite for about a month. This is my A mini guys. And this is a very rare tree to where you can't even find a whole lot of information out there about it. And I have one in 10 gallons. Check out how small the leaves are. This is just crazy, right? Look at that, it's about my finger right here. So I can see this being like a very, very, very good bonsai. However, I don't even think I can make a bonsai out of this. And I am, um, frankly, I'm not gonna even attempt to do a bonsai out of that. Check out the species of cream, guys. This is one of my top five favorite Japanese maples is this puppy right here. And it is because, check this guy, check this out. Check out the colors on this tree. And I gotta like, I don't know, maybe provide it a little bit with shade so you can actually look and appreciate the true color of this tree. It's just amazing. I did upload a video on YouTube of that tree and you can go ahead uh, and watch that. I did made a video of Sweet Lucille or Skeleton Reach, Strawberry Spring. What else? This is my other peaches and cream. The, it still has showing a little bit of variegation, but some of these leaves have turned really solid green and red. So I don't know about that. This is my bronze age. I'm planning on making a video about this one. Actually, I'm making a video eventually about all of them really. So the videos that I'm planning on doing about this tree are going to be, I'm not gonna talk too much because the reality is that the video talks for itself. You know, the tree actually says all the information that you really need if that, that you really need to make a decision whether you wanna buy the tree or not. So why would I even say stuff about it? Check this moonrise. This moonrise have been, you know, uh, have been putting a show here at home and I think it's getting a little, you know, stress about the sun, but at the same time, I don't want to baby any of my trees because I want them to be able to hold sun. So, I mean, if I got to move some of them, I will, but I'm not trying to. What else do we got here? Wen Oyama, this one put a show here on early spring this was one of my first trees that opened up and look at i got a lizard you see the lizard where's the lizard let's go find the lizard i know it's here somewhere oh right here check that out guys i don't know if you can see it but it's right there it's right there guys 
and I can't see because the sun is hitting my phone. Katsura, check that out. Also one of the very, very nice trees here. And I can tell it's uh, it's taking a beating here on the sun. So I'm just, this one I'm definitely gonna boom. Boom. And that's it guys. Oh, I got two snow kittens there. You guys wanna watch? Snow kitten or Yukiyama. Boom. It's just small, really. You know, I guess it's more of a variegated type of uh, Yatsubusa family, but I'm not even too thrilled about these two. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Like, it has a long way to go, I'll tell you that. And that's it guys, this is pretty much it for me and uh, I'll be getting more trees and showing you guys more videos. Obviously guys, there's a lot more videos that I need to post. Not only that, I'm also planning on posting videos about lawn care, composting and stuff like that. I'm nuts about all that stuff. I'll show you guys. I have been getting invaded by winter weeds all winter, as you guys can see. This is my Empire Sosha, and it's waking up, and I am getting hit hard by Po Anwa. And this is it right here. You see it? It sucks, guys. It's getting invaded by all types of winter weeds. And to tell you the truth, there, is, there was not a whole lot that I could have done to prevent it because this is a brand new sod and I could not throw down a pre-emergent for my lawn for obvious reasons. And this is my compost right here, which is to tell you the truth, this compost is just about It smells delicious guys and this is very good stuff and I'm planning on spreading all this on my lawn this year and I think it got maybe about one or two more turns on it before I consider this ready. I made add a little bit more coffee. I have been gathering coffee from Starbucks. They just give it to you by, by the bags, you know, and it's, it's trash bag size of use coffee that you could just you know use it as a form of green material for your compost and this is it i've been doing this all winter long just throwing bags of coffee here and gathering all the leaves from all these trees that just drop on the floor right here you see there's hardly any hardly any leaves because i just keep blowing them here and this and that is my brown material for my compost boom so guys i gotta let you guys go this video is probably uh, almost half an hour almost half an hour video and i only have been posting you know one minute minute and a half videos about maple trees so this is it guys bye